Hey guys, what's up? We're back again and we're unboxing foil things, which is one of my favorite things to do. And apparently you guys enjoy it a little bit as well. So thanks for watching. And if you guys haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and you'll get notified when we do more cool stuff like this. Try foil gear. We're going to upload foil sessions and things like that. So let's get into it. Today, we've got a couple of boxes over here. I'm going to grab them. Let's have a look, see what's going on today. All right, we've got some good looking boxes here from our good friends at Axis. I know that these guys always come through with the goods. Every time we get a delivery from Axis, it's always amazing. It's been a while since I've had a little delivery from these guys. Pretty pumped. Let's get stuck into it. All right, this is a pretty funny looking box. Um, no guesses for what's in here, I reckon, but I'm just gonna throw it out there and then say this is some sort of mast. So we'll shred open the packaging on this guy. All right. Oh my God, how do I get in here? Let me in, let me in. Oh my God, I swear they don't want me to get in this one. I don't even know where this starts and finishes. Let's get this thing bit off here. I feel like we're making progress. Oh, oh my God. Just cut my jeans, almost my skin. Oh my God, that's gnarly. All right, I gotta just calm down. Oh yes, it's happening guys, it's happening. Oh, I thought this was packaging. I bet. Who does not love stickers? And actually, I don't think I've ever had it. I've had access stickers a couple of years ago, but I've got a fresh batch. Now we're talking. And we've got merch. Look at this. Guys. How epic. Access since ages ago. Froth and pump, pace and tray, art, HPS, PNG, BSE, and SP. All of my favorite things. Whoa! We've got the whole wardrobe. Actually, there's some small ones here, and I, rec uh, I think they might, fit the, they might be for the little grommets. Oh my goodness. Look at that, you guys. That is sick. Putting that on. If I wasn't mic'd up, I'd be putting it on right now. Maybe I will. Let's have a look. But another one. Thank you guys. This one's this package has come all the way from NZ. Straight from the big dog. Thank you, legends. And we have come on, get out of here. A 760 carbon mast. Alright, let's get him out. He's locked in. I see what's happening. I see what's happening. How good are these mast covers, by the way? Wow, this guy's secretly wrapped as well. I'm gonna be more careful for this one because these guys have got a pretty sweet paint job and I don't wanna ruin that. All right, the 760 carbon mast. I already run one of these. And there are rumors of maybe, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say, but maybe another mast on the way, I'm not sure. But you can never have enough carbon masts. I've actually been running the 86 carbon mast lately for prone and weaning. Um, we've had some bigger swells lately, so for proning it's been good just to have that little bit of extra flexibility in the water, in the wilder ocean that we've been experiencing now that autumn is starting to set in here in the west. So the extra length of the 86 has been like really helpful. All right, there it is. 
get out of here. Look at that. Man, these things are so nice. That way. So that's box number one. The Axis 760 Carbon Mast and a whole bunch of merch. What a bunch of legends. Thanks, guys, at Axis. Always looking after me. They've been looking after me for a while now, and I'm forever grateful. You guys rock. All right, so... I'll put this guy in his lovely little case. Keep him protected, and that will go... It's coming with me for my next sesh, which will may or may not be later on today. There he is. All right. You can sit up here, buddy, with me. And all the epic merch. Wow. Wardrobe clean out coming up. I'm going to be rocking this now for the next little while. Thank you, guys. Okay. Next box from the same people at Axis. But this one actually came in not from New Zealand, so but they've arrived at the same time or a day apart. This one came yesterday. And this one's heavy. I can hear some sort of hardware jangling around in here. So we're going in. Wish me luck. Oh, I've seen something I have not seen before. We've got some sort of rear wing. We'll get to that in a moment. We've got some sort of other rear wing. It's heaps in there. Okay, let's have a look at this. This one's got no no markings on it, but so let's go first on this guy. Oh, the progressive. 300 that is a tiny little thing look at that oh my goodness i'm gonna have a great time on this guy i've been hanging for a small version of this been riding the 350 um, and also the 375 a little bit and that looks like it's going to be perfect size the little 300 beautiful and then by the looks of it it's slightly bigger brother the 325 So it's a 325 mil rear by 62 mil. So we've got a 300 and a 325. That is going to be awesome fun and that's going to loosen things up. It's definitely going to make my setup a little more lively, which is what it's all about. We love a lively setup. So a couple of rear wings. Thank you to my good friends for shooting those over. All right, let's get back into the big box and see what we have here. Oh, you're joking me. All right. We've got the Art Wing 899. I'm going to just pull all these out first and let's see because there's more than one. Oh my God, that thing's gigantic. An Art 999. I'm going to take a closer look at these in a moment. What is this monstrosity? Okay, an Art 1099. Now I'm feeling super intimidated. We're going deeper. Oh, that's, now we're talking an Art 799. All right. I think that might be it. Okay, hold on. There's stuff in here. We're good. Hardware. Oh, the infamous Axis bag of bolts. Now you can never have enough of these, especially if you run multiple setups or if you've got children who like to borrow your gear all the time. And friends. That's the thing, friends I think is, you hook your mates up with gear and you end up losing like the bolts for your board or like those small screws that hold the rear wings on. I find that happens to me heaps, so. These are extremely useful. Thank you, guys. Fresh sets of the Axis bolts, the full kit. So now I'm going to be able to run a few setups 
foil at the same time, which is perfect because we're about to go traveling with the family and my two daughters want a foil as well. So now we can all have a setup ready to go each every day. So we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna ride now because we have a lot of choice. So access hardware. Now these art wings, wow, like where do we start with them? Um, there's been some hype on these on the internet. I've only briefly seen an 899 once at the beach and I had a go of somebody's and I had a couple of waves on it. Didn't really get a chance to ride it properly and get a proper feel for it. It was literally like a 15 minute session. Um, I've had a few people asking me what I think about them and I haven't even been able to answer that question because they have not arrived until now. So I'm a little bit behind the eight ball, but that's totally fine. Um, I've been loving my BSC and HPS wings lately. Um, and now just to throw a little bit more uh, confusion into the mix, we've got the Art Series wings, which are super hyped. I know one thing for a fact, they're high aspect. They're really fast. They've got tons of glide. Um, but I also have some questions about the Art wings. I think the only way to find out about this is to go straight to the source. I've been thinking I might give Big Boss a ring at Axis and just have a chat and see what the deal is and maybe get a bit, you know, get the lowdown on these Art wings before I open these bags and have a good look at them. We'll find out from the experts and the people that design them and find out what the deal is. So what do you reckon? We'll give them a buzz. I don't, it's 10 a.m. Australian right now. I'm not sure what the time is in New Zealand, but I'm going to try and call my dear friend over the ditch and see if we can have a little chat about these art wings. What do you reckon? I'm going to totally catch him off guard here. This is going to be funny. I just hope for one thing he doesn't tech out on me because when he texts out on me, I sit on the phone for like two hours and I'm like brain explosion on all this terminology. So I'm going to have to make this one brief. All right. All right, let's give him a call. Put him on speaker. Here it goes. It's ringing. How are you going? I'm good, thank you, mate. How are you? Good. Hey, I just want to quickly say thank you so much. I've received a couple of beautiful boxes here and I'm halfway through opening them. Great. Um, some exciting stuff. Really pumped to see these art wings, but I've got a few questions for you about them. Yep, go if you like. My first question is going to be, Axis Research Team, who are these people? Uh, <laughs> well, we have a bunch of our cool guys uh, around where we're based. Uh, in um, Auckland and we also have people all over America and all over the show and as we develop new projects we we involve them and get their opinion on them. These things look absolutely beautiful. Um, what can I expect and I'm a lightweight rider but they look really high aspect um, and I've got a funny feeling they're going to be super fast. Is that kind of what we're going for here? Yeah, well it's, it's uh, uh, on the larger ones, the 1099 and the 999, the 899 is glide. Yep. The, the, um, uh, an easy way to explain it is span, is pretty much the lift you get, and the, the cord, the length of the cord, is a little bit like your handbrake. And, you know, the longer the cord, the more handbrakes on. And these ones haven't got much. So they're, right. they're free to run. Um, ever so slightly trickier to get up. But yep. It's kind of a knack that you get the hang of. And then once you're up, they just don't stop. So, like, wing foiling and downwinding is just going to be amazing on these? Yeah, yeah, perfect for that. Perfect. Right, well, that's exciting. Like, no matter how small they look, even the 799, I think, you know, it'll be your almost go-to for you. Anything else coming up in the future? Any, like, can you give us any, any little, you know, updates on secret stuff that's in the works? Well, there's always more stuff coming, but we're working on We're working on um, bigger wings for flat water pump. Yep. Uh, the ART wings, although they're pretty fast, um, yep. I would say the main point that everyone says about them is how easy they are to use yep. and, and also work out a, uh, quite a range. We'd like to build some wings that are really, really fast. Working on that, um, also looking at sort of like a high performance, you know, top end surfing range. Wow. Um, and also looking at different marks. So lots of things we're working on at the moment. Beautiful. All right, well, I wanted to keep this one brief because I know that when you and I chat, sometimes things get really technical and we can easily lose an hour or two. 
So um, I, I've only got limited time and I know that you're busy over there, but I just wanted to say thank you again for this little batch of deliveries. Um, it's really exciting and I'm just going to go through these um, art wings now and hopefully get them on the water this week. You're welcome. I look forward to seeing what you think of them. Unreal. They should be great for you. Yep. Cheers. Looking forward to it. Thanks so much, mate, and um, I'll touch base really soon. Okay. Cheers. See you later, bud. Well, there you go. The Axis research team, bunch of riders around the world giving input. I know that there's been a big push for fast wings, for downwinding, for winging. Um, it's always that search of ultimate glide. So these are a creation of rider feedback um, from all over the place, all different riding styles. And as Adrian's just pointed out, uh, these things have no limit to the glide and the speed. So let's bust them open and have a closer look. I'm going to start, let's go smallest to largest. Um, Adrian did touch on the fact that he thinks the Art 799 might be my go-to wing. Um, and just looking like the bags and the finish on this is just so nice. So this is the Art 799. And I'm still trying to wrap my head around the shape of these, the span, the aspect ratio, the narrow cord. Um, they just look like they're, they're so thin and they look like they're going to be so fast. I'm like actually a little bit intimidated looking at these. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle them, but I definitely can't wait to try. So this is the Art 799. So we have a wingspan, obviously, of 799 millimetres, 31 and a half inches. Obviously, all the information's on the wingtip here. Um, we have an area of 730 square centimetres, so that thing is quite small. Um, a mega aspect ratio of 9.05. Very narrow cord, 120 millimetres. That's at the widest point in the middle, an average cord of 88. There is so much information on these wings, and honestly, you don't need all of it, but there are a lot of people out there who love to get super technical. I'm not really one of those people. But it's there if you need it. You know when you're down the beach and someone comes up to you and they're like, want to look at your wing and then how big is that? What's, you know, what's the aspect ratio? What's, what's the cord or what's the surface area? Um, you can just look straight on the wingtip here and you get all of that information. So this is the Art 799. Maybe we, I'll compare these to my HPS wings in a moment. Um, let's open up a couple more. Put the bag aside. So that's a 799. What a work of art. What was next? 899. <clears throat> so we're getting progressively larger and I guess as they get bigger um, I'm really looking forward to light wind super efficient winging on these um, every now and then we hit the flat water when the conditions are marginal if we have no surf and we just want to get in the ocean we'll jump in the flat sometimes it's really light like 10 to 12 knots um, and you're just really searching for that extra glide or you want to chase a few downwind lumps and things like that these arts are going to get the biggest work out for that um, where we live we don't do a great deal of downwinding but every so often we will um, and I think these will definitely be my go-to for downwinding it's just figuring out what size obviously I really want to try that giant beast of a thing for some pumping maybe even flat water pumping if it works I'm not sure I think some people have actually been riding for like half an hour or more on those so um, maybe I'll try that and see if I can <laughs> get up and mix it with the big boys on the flat water pump so this is the art 899 again that beautiful massive span super narrow cord incredibly nice finish on these so this actually has a higher aspect ratio of 9.76 um, and it has an area of 850 square centimeters so the span of 899 millimeters so that's the art 899 just everything about these just looks like they're going to be so fast it's going to be interesting to see what the stall speed is like because generally with a super high aspect wing they do have a higher stall speed um, so it may be as adrian said a touch trickier to get going but for me that's such a small price to pay for ultimate performance and um getting going is something that you know we all get better at and as you get better at that it actually becomes not an issue so um the 899 looking absolutely beautiful there and let's go to the 999 now we're up in that meter range this is going to be an absolute weapon look at that thing oh wow okay so the art triple nine That's a monster. That thing is just going to go so fast. That's wild. 
Okay, aspect ratio of 9.9. .9. So we're getting ridiculous now. Um, it has the area of 1,038 square centimeters, which is kind of, I'm normally riding those 1,000 to 1,100 sort of size wings for my prone foiling, um, a little bit smaller when I'm winging. So this is quite big. I can just see the glide on this being crazy. So looking forward to that, the triple nine. There it is. Work of art, literally. So yeah. See you on the water, uh, triple nine. And we're going for this thing here, which is just, I have no words at all. Like I'm a 64 kilo rider. I probably have no business having this thing in my hand right now. The art. 1099 1099 like how what am i going to do with this thing like i see just novelty wing maybe like ultra light wind gliding on the wing perhaps flat water pumping i think we should definitely give this a crack flat water pumping um it's got a little sticker on it not intended for jumping that makes sense because i think i think there would be a a fair bit of leverage going on between the mast and the front wing here um, and your board too so probably not a great idea and it is quite thin all the way through to the tips so i can definitely understand why this is not recommended for jumping um, i'm not sure you want this size blade flying around in the air while you're jumping anyway but i think this is just the glider i i can see like the bigger guys and girls absolutely loving this thing for just wing foil glide downwinding the sup downwinders would just be mental on this even just getting up on the prone board and pumping forever i could see that happening this just feels like it wants this is going to be so efficient through the water um it's just so nice to finish on it so let's look at its numbers so 1099 is a span which is 43 inches it's just gigantic the area is 1144 square centimeters with an aspect ratio of 10.6 so that is just probably record breaking in itself. Have a look at that. The Art 1099 from my good mates over at Axis. That's going to be a wild ride. Um, I'm definitely keen to try and tame the beast. So stay tuned. I'll get these things on the water, you bet. Okay, so I promised a little comparison with my favorite uh, HPS wings because up until now, the HPS have been the high aspect wings that I've been riding. And actually this week I've been winging and prone riding on the HPS 830 and absolutely loving that. We've had some bigger waves around here lately. We're doing some longer pumps, trying to link into some big unbroken swell lines and things like that. I've found I've changed from the BSC to the HPS purely because of the speed and being able to keep up with those big unbroken lumps. I still love that BSC wing when I want to ride close to the wave and a little bit more surfy, but the HPS on those more unbroken, you know, chasing down the, the bigger swells has been incredible. So the 830 I have right over here. Okay, so this has been my setup in this last couple of weeks, which is the HPS 830 front wing. And I'm running it with the crazy short fuse. I do change between the crazy short and the ultra short. Um, I do love the stability of the ultra short, but the crazy short will loosen things up a little bit more. And I'm using it at the moment with the 350 uh, rear wing, which now I really cannot wait to experiment with that 325 and the 300. So that's a little bit more testing to do um, in the next week or two. So this is the HPS 830. This guy here has an area of 1,014 centimeters. So let's have a look. Um, so let's just go with the 899 for now. I guess that's quite close. And if we lay them on top, they are so different. There's nothing alike whatsoever. How am I gonna demonstrate this? Okay. So look at that, you can see the difference there in the shape. This here was previously my high aspect wing, which I would take when I wanted the extra glide um, for winging on the lighter days. I wanted extra top speed, I would take this. So now just imagine the top speed I'm gonna get out of the Art Series wings. They 
they just look so fast and crazy. I don't know if they might even be too fast. I think there is such a thing as too fast, especially if you're into prone surfing. But again, on those days where you're chasing the big fast lumps, you do need top speed. So there's definitely going to be a place in my quiver for the art wings. I just need to figure out where. So that's the 899 in comparison. So my good friend at the HPS 830, I'm not done with it yet, but I'm gonna be unbolting it soon and I'm gonna throw some art wings on and I wanna give it a go. I'll probably start off winging. I find wing foiling a great way to try out new wings. You can really get a good feel for what they're doing underwater. You don't need to worry so much about where else you're getting your power from. You've just got constant power from the hand wing um, and then you can really tune into what's going on under your feet. So art wings are gonna be happening soon. I'm gonna come back with some videos on how they go. Um, I cannot wait to get stuck right into them. They're going to be, I'm going to have so much fun testing these things out. Okay, so that was the unboxing video of our latest delivery from Axis Foils, guys. I really hope you enjoyed that one. I had a heap of fun unboxing it. I'm freaking out as to what I'm going to do next. There's gear everywhere. Uh, amazing assortment of wings in front of me here. I've got some sick merch over there that I'm really grateful for. So thank you guys so much at Axis for hooking us up again. You guys rock. And thanks to all you guys for watching. Um, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Love having you guys around. Leave your comments in the section below. Um, hit me up on those private messages for questions again, as usual. Love hearing from you guys. I'll see you all on the water. Catch you soon, guys. Take it easy. Bye.